Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. I hope you all are doing good. Well, as we know that securing data is the prime concern for any organizations and it is very important that the rightful people are using the right data at the right time. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the sensitivity labels in Power BI who all are working on Microsoft 365 they all are aware about the sensitivity labels in Office 365, but now we can apply the same in Power BI to protect our data. So stay tuned till the end of this video and I'm gonna explain you how to use them and how they work. What are sensitivity labels? So this question comes into our mind whenever we talk about the sensitivity labels. And if you are familiar about the Office 365 and the sensitivity labels into that one, then it perfectly makes sense for you. Well, Microsoft Information Protection sensitivity labels provide a simple way for your users to classify critical content in Power BI without compromising productivity or the ability to collaborate. That means whenever somebody is trying to export the data from Power BI, that should not be just visible to them. That should be protected by the sensitivity labels so that no unauthorized users can see or can view the data or can use them somewhere else. So it's very important for organizations to maintain the security, the protection of the data. Now let's see where we can apply this one. Well. Sensitivity labels can be applied on Power BI reports, Power BI dashboards, Power BI datasets, and data flows. Now, let's discuss uh, briefly about the protection matrix. Protection matrix is kind of dashboards, and this would give you information about the uh, sensitivity labels that we have applied on dashboards, reports, datasets, or data flows. And you can see on your screen that there are four different donut charts, and on left hand side, there's a stack chart. So, stack charts can be of 7 days, 30 days or for 90 days and these different donor charts are gonna give you the information about what are the different sensitivity labels they have applied over there. How to access them? So in your settings on your Power BI if you are the admin over there you can go to the admin portal and in admin portal you can choose protection metrics over there as shown on my screen you can see that and then this report can be generated over there. You know, whenever we are applying these sensitivity labels, so we should have some information regarding them. In order for the data protection matrix report to be successfully generated, information protection must be enabled on your tenant and sensitivity labels should have been applied. Secondly, in order to access cloud app security information, your organization must have the appropriate cloud app security license otherwise they are not gonna work at all we can apply these sensitivity labels on powerpoint pdf excel files but not on csv files so if somebody is exporting data in csv those are not gonna work at least at the time of recording this video so please keep this thing in your mind the last one that the data protection matrix report is not available to external users whether those users even in azure active directly b2b guest users so there are some important considerations you should be aware, aware about sensitivity level does not affect access to content within power bi access to content within power bi is managed solely by the power bi permissions Users who are granted access to a report are granted access to the entire underlying data set unless role level security has been applied over there. Report authors can classify and label reports using sensitivity labels. If the sensitivity label has protection settings, Power BI applies protection settings when the report data is exported in excel powerpoint or pdf files and then only authorized users will be able to open the protected files how do they work in power bi this is a very important question so there are three important points to consider let's discuss them one by one first is 
customizable, second clear text, and third is persistent. Customizable, you can create categories for different levels of sensitive content in your organization such as personal, public, general, confidential or highly confidential. That means we are customizing those sensitivity labels into different categories. Clear text. Since the labels is in clear text, it is easy for users to understand how to treat the content according to the sensitivity label guidelines. So every organization they have certain guidelines so we should follow according to them. Persistent. After a sensitivity label has been applied to content, it accompanies the content when it is exported to Excel, PowerPoint and PDF files and becomes the basis of applying and enforcing these policies. This is the persistent and also you should remember this. If we are using one data set to generate another report or to create another report on which already we have applied the sensitivity labels then those are gonna carry forward the same as well. First you need to go to report settings here under security labels just apply it save it and then you see highly confidential now we, when I click on the report and try to export the data then you can see that it's giving me the some permission information so if I don't have this one we cannot do that what's to note so there are certain points that you should not while working with sensitivity labels number one you should remember that it cannot be applied on csv files while exporting data in csv secondly sensitivity labels are only supported for tenants in global that is public clouds they are not supported for tenants in the cloud such as national clouds sensitivity labels can be viewed on reports and dashboards in the power bi mobile apps so whenever you are logging on your Power BI mobile app, then you will see a small icon over there, which would indicate that it has a sensitivity label. And the type of the label and its description can be found in the report or dashboard info box. So guys, that was the quick introduction about the sensitivity labels, how we can apply them, what are the sensitivity labels, what are the different categories. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching this video and I hope this is gonna be very much helpful for you. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel if you haven't subscribed it yet and stay tuned for more updates.